Power 96, what up? It's Kate OK coming to you from the Ultra Condo Party. Main stage Ultra right behind us. And we have a very, very, very special surprise guest. Why Clef? It's a clefication. What's good? What's good? Thanks so much for swinging by. Man, let me tell you, man, if you're going wild out, like in the calendar, this is like called Wild Out Weekend. You, you already know about it. So Ultra is something that you know about and appreciate. Now, now you know with me and Miami, you know, it's like a kid. So just to watch it, how it started out. I mean, keep in mind, I used to bring the carnival out here by Centennial. Um, so for me, just watching how it grow culturally and how kids get together, you know, and the idea of just all about music, all about music, it's a beautiful thing. Let's talk about, you actually have a project. Avicii is gonna be on the main stage uh, tomorrow. Shout out to my homie, Tim. Um, you know, we've been in the studio, man, and uh, we've been in, uh, I spent like a lot of time in Sweden. So we, you know, me as a producer, you know, I, I you know, I just love going in and doing records. We did uh, like 15 records together. And um, after that, I went in with, um, I did some joints with Afro Jack, uh, DJ Khaled, my own baby, the best, y'all already know. So just getting the Clefication album ready, it's gonna be a lot of great surprises. And working with Avicii, what drew you to him? His melodies, his, his, is there his track in particular? What, what draws you to electronic music? Well, I mean, for me, it's not really uh, electronic for me. It's more like house. Right. Um, it started for me. My first, um, the first Wyclef ever album, you could see it online. It's going to trip you out. It's before the Fugees. It's 1990. I was signing Big Beat Records. It's called Africali, and the song is called Out of the Jungle. So that's how far back I go with the culture. Think at the time, though. At the time, you had, like, Jungle Brothers doing, like, Girl in House or whatever. I think the idea of, like, when we say, like, electronics, just even take an album like The Score. The sounds that we was using on a lot of these hip-hop albums was a lot of, like, electronic sounds. Um, take a producer like Timbaland, you know what I mean? Um, so for me, um, Avicii was a natural fit because of the way that he mixes acoustic with the, with the electronic. For me, that's like, um, I did stuff like that on the carnival, just my way, you know what I mean? Let me ask you, if you could take it back, obviously the score, classic, Grammy Award winning, 1997's, mm -hmm. uh, a timeless, a masterpiece, really. Yeah. If you had the technology that, let's say, these younger artists, the EDM guys have available, would you be able to produce the same record? Would the re same result would have come out with all the technology, all the software, all the plugins? Well, I mean, you have to really understand, the score was done in, in my basement, so that means that I was aware of software before um, it was applied as software because I didn't have the software, so I had to use the hardware. So whether if it's the, the hardware conversion of software, um, the score still would have came out like that. Because you know, I'm, I'm a natural geek when it comes to like sounds, like I was into frequencies like coming up. So whether if we're gonna take like a hearse and take it and make it go I like that hurt. Right? Yeah. That's like, that's like modern day. But now, um, modern day, you do it with the software. Right. You know what I'm saying? But back then, I physically had to be like, hey, ew. Don't you feel, though, that, that those low-end analog sounds are different than the digital low-end? Don't, don't that's, do you feel like there's more, back then, there was more of a human feel, more of a raw feel than what you get with, uh, you know, just a plug-in? Well, I think now, I think scientifically, what they've been able to do with the plugins now is they've actually been able to improve the low-end. Cause now like you're getting a low end where you can get the hertz so low that you basically can tune the frequency. Right. That shit is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well we're now we're starting to just geek out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you oh, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, once again, thanks so much for swinging. Thank you by. for having me, baby. Geeking out. If you didn't yeah. know why Clef is all about the dance music, taking it back to the house days. That's right. Ultra Condo Party Kato K Y Clef. One Yo, time. Yeah, you already know what it is. One time.